We're with Dan Mater, who is one of the heroes in training, and he has uh, been deeply involved in the program for quite a long period of time. He's probably been the most prolific of our writers. And today I wanted to uh, give you, Dan, copies of the pictures of the different people that you've interviewed. Here's one with uh, Jim Laslovic at uh, KNSD Channel 39 with the other heroes in training. And then I also wanted to give you a picture of your interview with uh, Patrick Reynolds, who is the heir of the uh, tobacco fortune that gave that up to basically fight a battle against cancer and cigarette smoking. And then I also wanted to give you a certificate of appreciation for your tremendous help in the Heroes program. And of course, uh, every Heroes in Training gets their uh, hero card. Here's your real life hero card. And I wanted to ask you, Dan, uh, what impact has the Heroes program had, as you, had on you as an individual? Well, I think uh, the most important thing that's happened to me is that I've seen that uh, true heroism is often a lot more subtle than the common definition implies. Uh, the media would like us to see that the hero is uh, someone who does this heroic, just incredibly brave act, saves some little child's life. But I think really uh, the future of the youth of America hinges a lot more on the everyday heroes. Uh, I know everyone keeps looking back to that, but I think it's really the crux of the matter is that we need to look to the local heroes and the people in your community that make the community run. Well, you've had the opportunity to meet some uh, real-life heroes that uh, are also quite nationally recognized. You had a chance to uh, meet Jim Laslovic, uh, Patrick Reynolds, and also uh, um, Mr. Williams that's on uh, Baywatch. Uh, what were those things that you learned from them that makes a person a real hero? Well, uh, the biggest impression I've had from them is that they're not really that much different from everyone else. I mean, you see them on TV. Uh, I mean, Patrick Reynolds is obviously uh, the heir to a huge fortune, but these people uh, have more of the kind of, I guess you would say, wholesome values that really are um, important in life. And especially uh, Jim Laslovic, I just interviewed him, uh, he was talking about the same thing everyone else talks about, is the local uh, moral values you must pick up in the community from the local heroes. And basically just seeing that um, they're just really everyday people that just have a higher position, more visible position, and really can make a difference. Well, Dan, it's been great working with you, and I'm thankful to say I get to work with you for another year, just a junior this year. Right. So we'll have you for the sophomore year. Well, thank you very much for coming and thank being you. with us. I really appreciate your help. Okay, thanks a lot.